Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 the King James Version Bible be not deceived God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap everyone is sorry these days for offending someone everyone's sorry for saying something that's against someone's race background uh, sexual preference or anything else everybody's sorry for everybody except for no one's sorry for saying bad things about God Jesus Christ and Christians I'm just getting tired <coughs> excuse me I'm getting tired of all the PC the stuff we see around this wicked nation of Sodom and Gomorrah where everyone's afraid of offending someone except for God Jesus or Christians just yesterday there was a a story about a, a model who was wearing of uh, Indian type clothes like Pocahontas type clothes and and now the whole company has to apologize because they offended the Indians by wearing clothes that the Indians actually wore back in their days or someone will say a comment against Mexicans or against whites or against blacks or against anyone you know anybody just saying something just just they don't like someone will say something that sodomites uh, don't like to hear and they'll get mad and they'll get angry and there'll be a big thing and people will have to apologize and and actors and athletes and average Joes doesn't matter who it is has to apologize and gets in trouble with the law and gets in trouble with with mankind and gets in trouble with everybody because they said something out of their mouth that someone didn't like but what about God and Jesus and Christians why is it that people can make fun of God all the time why is it they can have hit show Broadway plays that, that come back for for uh, encores and rave reviews where they sing songs about sodomizing Jehovah God you heard me right and they sing songs F Jesus Christ over and over and over again and the whole audience sings along and they're just whooping it up and laughing what who says sorry for that how about all the times that they have gay Jesus pageants and gay Jesus parades and, and gay Jesus of uh, Easter stories and gay Jesus Christmas stories who says sorry about that who apologizes for that how about all the times that Christians are made fun of and, and we're called all kinds of names they're actually calling our Lord and Savior Jesus those names through us because we represent him but but they're calling us names and they're mocking us and making fun of us and and putting us down and saying that, that us and Jesus and God and the Holy Bible are nothing but jokes and lies and and filth and calling and calling all of us scum and, and garbage including our Heavenly Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who says sorry about that? Nobody does. That's that, that's that's um, fear game. All the comedians, all these wicked, filthy comedians, come out and make terrible jokes about God and Jesus and, and the Bible and Christians. It's funny. Everybody loves it. They oh, it's it's so hilarious to everybody because oh yeah, you're making fun of God, Jesus, and, and Christians in the Bible. Sure, help yourself. But oh, don't dare say anything bad. Don't dare say anything bad about a Muslim or about a sodomite or about anyone of any race no matter what it is don't, don't, don't dare try to wear a piece of clothing that someone else has worn in the, in the past in the history of their race because you'll get called on the carpet you'll get sued you'll get called out you know what I don't care I'm just sick and tired because Paul kid <laughs> I've got a backbone made of Kevlar my friends I, I'm Holy Spirit filled to the to every every pore of my skin he, he, he comes out I'm not going to sit here and, and take any of this junk from anybody because I will stand up for God, Jehovah God. I'll stand up for Jesus Christ, for the Holy Bible, and for my fellow Christians, even if no one else does. I have got a big mouth for Jesus Christ, and I will not, let me repeat, I will not allow you to blaspheme my God, my Lord and Savior, the Holy Bible. I'm not going to allow it. You might be selling. I'm not buying. I'm not going to, it's like the emperor's new clothes. You all might be flocking and fawning over all this PC junk. I'm going to stand up and call it and say, hey, enough. Stop it. I've had enough of this junk. Christians, we need to start getting righteously angry. We need to start having righteous anger in our lives. It's not judgment. It's rebuking, correcting, teaching, convicting. Those who would mock our Heavenly Father God, those who would mock Jesus Christ and mock the Holy Bible, God's own words, who would make fun of our fellow Christians, and you sit there and allow it, no one stands up. Where are the Christian leaders at? It's like it's like hearing a cricket chirp. Cheep, 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 cheep. They're gutless. They're spineless. They don't care. Most Christians are gutless and spineless and they don't care. I'm tired of it. I'm not going to sit here and allow it to happen 
and, 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 and be part of the those who are PC policed. You're not going to have it have it both ways, my friends. You're not going to sit there and complain about somebody saying something about you or your race or your background or your, the clothes you wear and think you're going to get away with mocking my Heavenly Father, my Lord and Savior in the Holy Bible. Uh-uh, it's not happening. So I'm going to call you on it. And Christians, you know, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you grow a spine if you don't have one yet. And get up and say something. Get up and make a stand. When you start going around all these places where you where on the internet, on MSN and Yahoo and Google, wherever you are, you see all these blogs and these articles where they're making fun of Jesus, make a stand. Or these articles where they're trying to say it's cool for sodomites to do this, or it's cool for transsexuals and transvestites to do this, or it's cool for this and this, or, or somebody's mad at this. Just stand up and say, hey, what about God? What about Jesus? What about the Bible? What about that? What about them? What about all you guys making fun of them all the time and no one says anything? I'm going to say something about it. You say something, something about it, Christian. Make a stand right now before it's too late. Make a stand. God and Jesus don't need us to defend them. They're, they're, they're the, the rulers of the universe. But as, as their children, we have to defend them. It's our job. If you don't have the guts and the backbone to say something to somebody who mocks God and mocks Jesus Christ all the time, shame on you. Shame on you. Let's pray. I love you, Jesus, and I thank you. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that wicked people in this nation of Sodom and Gomorrah, especially, it happens in other places, but especially here, mock you and mock our Heavenly Father, your Father God, mock the Holy Bible, and Christians say nothing. Very, very few of us will say anything because most Christians don't have any, any spine. I'm so ashamed of the church right now. It's turned into a demonic den of Satan for the most part. I pray you'd rebuke, correct, convict, teach. You would hound Christians who won't stand up for you. And just don't give don't give any of us any peace in our life or any happiness, joy, comfort, satisfaction, nothing. If we won't get out there and have some guts and stand up for you and, and, and be strong and, and, and not be afraid to go against the, the, the current. Because I'm just so tired of it. I'm tired of hearing all the PC junk. I'm JC, Jesus correct. I'm BC, biblically, biblically correct. That's what I am. Forget the PC stuff. It's time to start making a stand for you, Jesus, right now. And I pray that people would do that before it's too late. The precious name I ask it. Amen. If you watch this video and don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Jesus, I know I've sinned. I've done bad things in my life, and I'm sorry. I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day, went back to heaven to be at the right-hand side of the Father. Since that time, you've made a place in heaven for all Christians forever. Please forgive me of my sins. Please cleanse my heart white as snow. Wash my heart. Come live in my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ, a child of the King. In your precious name I ask it. Amen. When you pray this prayer, Jesus says that all who come to me and ask shall be saved. And when you get saved, get your King James Version Bible. It's the living, breathing Word of God. The way you feed your body with food and water every day, this Bible will feed your spirit and soul if you read it every day. Pray to Jesus daily. He's your new best friend. He loves you. He wants to talk to you every single day. Get water baptized as soon as you can. Immersion baptized. Dunked under water. If you've been sprinkled baptized in the past, do it again, my friends. It doesn't count. Excuse me. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit from head to toe. You should draw closer to Christ in what little time we have left before the imminent rapture. By reading the Bible, by praying, by living for Jesus Christ. Take your King James Version Bible to church. When the pastor preaches, when I talk, when anyone does or writes about the Bible, you compare what we say. If it don't match, you close it. You get up and you walk out immediately. You unfriend, you unsubscribe. You run away as fast as you can because anyone who would lie to you in Jesus' name, anyone who will lie to you about what God's own word says will drag you to hell, my friends. If you have questions, comments, concerns, you want me to pray for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I have the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it, but praise the Lord. When I prayed for it, he gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day if you ask me to, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's within his holy will. If he does, it will be all through his praise, honor, glory, power, might, majesty, strength, love, compassion, mercy, kindness, tenderness, gentleness, understanding. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean. A slave for Jesus Christ. Please share this video, the link to this channel, with friends, neighbors, co-workers, loved ones, with strangers. Drop it in a blog. Plant the seed and walk away. Let God water it so it can grow. The cotton candy, powder puff, syrupy, fluff garbage you hear all across the internet, all across churches, everywhere, is the word that leads to hell. The word that leads to heaven, to eternal life. The word that points you to the cross of Christ where you can be forgiven of your sins and saved by his precious blood. It makes you want to repent. It's a King James Version Bible. Cover to cover. Verse, chapter, book. Genesis to Revelation. All 66 books. The way I preach it on this channel. 
Not because I'm anything, because God's everything. I love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. Stand up. I can stand for Christ right now before it's too late. Thanks.